Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Heart. We're more than a channel. We are a community. Heart Squad, welcome to another episode of the top 10 rarest or craziest Pokemon items or cards on eBay. Name is still a work in progress, but welcome back. I did an episode of this several, several months ago, and y'all really, really wanted me to make another episode episode so i wanted to before i did another episode wait several months so new items would appear on ebay and if you saw last time's episode there was a cheeto that was apparently twenty five thousand uh, dollars or at least that's what the offer price was or the buy it now price and uh pretty sure it didn't sell but it was supposed to be in the shape of a mew which it was, which I thought was hilarious. Um, not sure if eBay took that listing down or whatnot, but today I found some more incredible listings, whether it be really, really funny uh, knockoff items or something, or for the most part, it's going to be some very, very rare Pokemon items and cards that you saw in my top 10 rarest and most expensive Pokemon cards video, which I did a while back. And you can go watch that video in its entirety to learn more information about the cards. But I found some interesting items, which if you'd like to stick around for this one, I think you're going to learn a lot of some of the most rarest and expensive items in the Pokemon card game. So... Uh, and please do uh, leave a like and let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to do another episode of this in the near future. So the very first thing, and uh, I guess not necessarily going in a certain order, maybe? I think it's kind of just like up to y'all as far as what you think is the top 10. It's more of a personal view. So I have them all right here, and the very first thing is gorgeous. It's a Pokemon Complete PSA 10 First Edition Shadowless Base Set complete set of 102 cards and yes it includes the master himself a first edition gem mint base set charizard card they are the top three starters from kanto right here and they are beautiful but there's actually multiple they have the entire the entire thing this is the entire base set even down to the commons uncommons pidgeotto rare card they are all in gem minty freshness psa 10 which is just in its itself is absolutely incredible to see a complete set like this and it is going for a casual pretty much 110,000 us dollars which the charizard itself these days is worth almost around 21 to 23 thousand dollars it probably is worth a bit more now um so just this card itself is pretty crazy and then each of these cards are worth several thousands themselves and they just the prices just keep on going up so that is the first listing for that uh let's just go with this next one i showed this one in the previous episode Obviously, it hasn't sold yet, but it is a complete English Pokemon Booster box set. And this includes a base set first edition box. Look at that. I just, for the sheer awesomeness of this post, I decided to keep this one on here because, and show this one again, because look on that top right box, a legendary collection. We got E-series like Expedition, Sky Ridge boxes. That green one is the Sky Ridge box, which... The price for that, buddy, keeps on going up. It's crazy. You got new boxes right over there in the bottom right. Uh, and then there's some base set. But look at all that. You got first edition German uh, blue winged with logos. So there's like the different variations of the base set booster box, which believe it or not, there are several different variations. And then you got Call of Legends and several other uh, Holland Phantoms and Crystal Guardian. Oh, just such a gorgeous. Yeah, here we go. First edition English Shadowless Green Wing. Black Triangle, which is open, and those are rare enough. Green Wings, uh, Australia, UK, Blue Wing. So many different variations. And uh, even with the Jungle Booster boxes, it looks like he has a first edition one, Korean one. Oh, maybe that was the Chinese one with the red logos. Uh, can't remember off the top of my head. And there are just incredible ones that just every basically one, even up to the new ones. And then there it is, a Coup de Gras first edition base set booster box. All right, so uh, 
I saw this one and I was just like, I it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to showcase this one to everybody. It is the ultimate PSA 10 first edition Charizard collection. It's near complete. And this is from Pokemon Rev and uh, an amazing collector. And here are, just look at that. If you like a uh, Charizard, you may just want to go and save this picture of the cards. You got a Shining Charizard over there, Legendary Collection Charizard. One of my favorites is that Charizard on the right over there from Sky Ridge. Absolute gorgeous card, Gem Mint. I think that's actually, was that the topper? So that's a topper, even more rare. Because like the oversized cards that you see in the boxes these days, that is what that Charizard is. So that's incredibly rare. It's going for a casual $180,000. All right, next up is something I found hilarious. This may have been in the previous video as well. But the fact that it's still on eBay and it's just hilarious is a uh, Pokemon Air 1998 limited edition factory sealed horsing coughing in a charmeleon paris box so as you can see right here it looks like it is from the official pokemon company or at least supposed to be official from uh, 1998 and uh instead of the charmeleon there's a coughing these must be dittos of course there's paris there's a horsey and uh looking at the back of the box and stuff so yeah it's made from nintendo and game freak and uh that's just hilarious that it's like that i think that's incredible if that's actually real that's i think that's hilarious and oh yeah it's a hundred and a hundred thousand dollars oh excuse me a hundred and one thousand dollars so if y'all can let me know in the comment section out of all these items which one would you want the most if you had the ability to get it all right next one up this was featured in my top 10 rares and most expensive pokemon cards video mr pratt uh I don't know if this is his. I doubt this is no, this is not his, but he does have a gem mint one of this Pokemon Japanese Super Secret Battle third place trophy card from 1999. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. There I th I don't want to say the exact amount that were given out as a prize at these tournaments in 1999, but my video obviously will say the exact amount in more detail. But look at it, two stars right there. These are so rare just because there were so few of them that were actually given out back in 1999. And the fact that it's graded a PSA Gem Mint 10 and is going for $85,000 at the moment. All right, next up is uh, something I think is pretty, pretty cool and I wish I had it in my collection. Fortunately, I do have at least one pack sealed still. This is a Pokemon base set first edition box pristine investment quality apparently from david adams card world there it is right there first edition limited printing with the seal still on it that is just gorgeous for basically eighty five thousand dollars i know uh shady penguin recently opened up his first edition booster box and that uh he sold each of the packs Charizard packs were $1,000 and Venusaur and Blastoise packs, I believe, were $800. But then they're actually worth more than that now. Um, but finding a buyer for this, uh, perhaps there's somebody out there just to have it for the collection. And like I said, an investment quality. So I think that's pretty cool. I did find this other one by David Adams as well. It's another first edition booster box base set. And... I find it pretty crazy that there's two of them that they have that they're selling. That's what it looks like. And this one is probably not in as good as condition because this one is $75,000. This one is $85,000. And this says pristine. So that is my only guess is that there's actually... Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. That would be the reason right there. It is actually partially opened up already. Which uh, for a partially opened up already thing, that's pretty crazy that it's... Uh, still that much but i mean it's essentially sealed so you care about the cards but that's pretty cool that's really cool all right next up is something is a psa 10 master's key first place trophy card from 2010. uh very very incredibly rare card this is also in my top 10 rarest video where i explain it in more detail is going for eighty thousand dollars and it says PSA 10 Masters Key Jip, Japan National Champion. It's one of the more unique high-end prize cards from 1998. Uh, 
even though it says 2010 right there. So, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe something's a little fishy right there. But anyway, it's, uh, very, very gorgeous looking card, and it reminds me a lot of Kingdom Hearts. So, pretty cool card there for a casual $80,000. Uh, here we go. This is a set of three of the rarest Pokemon cards uh, for Japanese cards. And uh, there's first the uh, University Magikarp card, Gem Mint 10. Gorgeous card. A parent and child family event Kangaskhan card. There were only about, I think, maybe 30 of these that were given out at a tournament. Obviously for parent and children, and uh, these were the cards that were given out. I know it's just the Kangaskhan, but it is incredibly rare. And then a 1999 Tropical Wind, Tropical Mega Battle card with a lovely Psyduck, and is that a Jigglypuff having too many margaritas on the side over there? And uh, I think those are absolutely gorgeous cards. Let's see if there's any information about it. No, no information about it. I explained more about why these are so rare, but most for the for the most part, these were all essentially just given out at different tournaments for different prizes and stuff and the fact that there's so few of them and especially in this condition uh, i know that one's a mint nine but the other ones are mint 10 even a mint nine is still incredibly rare so pretty cool all right what's next a pokemon japanese tropical metal mega battle second place Trophy card. Man, that's a mouthful. Anyway, these were also in that video that I did. There were different executor cards. And uh, these are prize cards. This is the silver one because it's number two. There's a gold one and a bronze one. And uh, let's see if there's any information that they put for this one. So, no. But it's essentially another card that came out in 1999 at different uh, prizes that you can get. These are... I think these are gorgeous. I love the illustration of the, the executor on it and uh, the logo, the Tropical Mega Battle logo, which is pretty cool. So that one is for $60,000, so you can imagine what the uh, other one's going for. All right, and uh, I think last but not least is essentially the Holy Grail of Japanese Pokemon cards, a Pokemon Illustrator card. And... Uh, it's listed for $150,000, and there it is. It is graded by Beckett, and it is not in perfect condition, or even close to it. It is a near mint 7.5, but this card is so rare and so vaunted that even a 7.5 is worth a lot of money. So, there it is in the Beckett ceiling. If you don't know, Beckett is another grading company that primarily does sports cards, but they also grade Pokemon cards as well. But PSA is the king of grading Pokemon cards. So that is the final one. Really, really cool. I know uh, Scott Pratt has a Gemmin 10 version of this card, and I can only imagine the value of that card. So very cool. Wanted to end off on the Holy Grail of Japanese Pokemon cards. So I hope everybody enjoyed this top 10 craziest and rarest and most expensive Pokemon cards and items on eBay. Please let me know if you had the resources to pick whatever you wanted that I just showed you, which would it be? And please do leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.